Hey there, it's Victoria McCooey from victoriamccooey.com um, and creator of the Reclaim Your Power system. And I'm here with another Manic Monday. So if you're here with me live, do me a favor and will you type into the comments hashtag live? And if you're watching on a replay, will you type into the comments hashtag replay? I really appreciate that. All right. So as you know, Manic Monday is where I come on every Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern and I address issues that people who follow me or are on my email list come to me with during the week with um, their issues around co-parenting. And, you know, a lot of my community uh, are women who are divorcing a narcissistic husband or are already divorced and trying to co-parent with one. And, you know, as you know, uh, there's not really any such thing as co-parenting with a narcissist, right? Um, give me a one in the comments if you can relate to that. You can't. Like you, there is no um, there is no co-parenting because there is no cooperation. You know, there's there's only sabotage. So we call it parallel par parenting, right? You parent on your own on your time, and the co-parent parents on their own on their own time but there's no real communication around parenting and it's sad but necessary to avoid a toxic situation so someone from uh instagram told me that her 18 year old daughter told her that her father uh revealed <laughs> that on new year's eve a friend of his a, a male friend kissed him on the lips um, at midnight. Uh, you know, no, I don't know any more than that. So she then told the mother and the mother's like, I, you know, what do I do with this? He, what, do, what am I supposed to say? You know, that's such a weird thing. He, she shouldn't be telling her daughter, his daughter, our daughter that. Okay, here's what I have to say about that. Um, don't get involved in what he says or doesn't say. I mean, unless it's really horrible. But my favorite go-to for any time your ex narcissist does or says something to your children that you know is harmful, you don't want to disparage them, right? You don't want to get into a pissing battle with the, the ex over this. So you just say to your child, how does that make you feel? You know, genuinely, not in a mean way, like baiting them to say something bad about their dad, but in a caring, genuinely caring way. How does that make you feel? Because you want them to know that that's what's important to you, their feelings. They come first. So how does that make you feel? And the daughter might say, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I wish he didn't say it. I wish it's like, and accept that, acknowledge her, let her be heard that she feels uncomfortable with him sharing that or however she feels or i don't know does that am i supposed to think that he's gay am i why did they tell me that like what and just go well i don't know i don't know any more than you do but you know let's acknowledge how she feels um and make her feel good and safe and that's the main thing you want her to know that she is safe in your home that you are not going to say things to her that make her feel uncomfortable about you. And that leads me to my next point that this brings up is your kids do not want to know about your sexuality. They don't want to know what you're doing on dates. They don't even want to know who you're dating, honestly. I think especially in the beginning, you just keep it away from them, right? I mean, put yourself in their place. As I know I had boys. Um, I have three boys. And when I was divorced, newly divorced, I know that they were very uncomfortable with the idea of me ever being around another man. And I kept it hidden for a very long time if I ever had a date with anyone. I mean, they, they didn't meet anyone that I was dating until it was the man I ended up marrying, remarrying. Um, no, I not remarrying <laughs> the same man. I mean, the man I, I am married to now. I waited a very long time 
And I'm not saying I do everything right. I made a ton of mistakes, but I want to help keep you from making the same mistakes. This is something I think I got right. I kept it to myself. You know, yes, you want to be close. You want to share. You don't, you don't want to share that with them. They don't. It makes them uncomfortable. Put yourself in their shoes. What if it was your parent? What, was, what if it was your mother? Would you really want to know, you know, what was going on? I don't think so. So just keep the whole dating, sex stuff away from them for their own good so that they don't have to feel uncomfortable about it, you know, until it's time for you to really be serious with someone. That's my advice. You know, other people might disagree. I know that that worked for me and it's helped a lot of my clients, I would say. So that is my co-parenting tip for today. Don't share your sexual adventures <laughs> with your kids, no matter how old they are. Like even if they're adults, it's just like uncomfortable. So yeah, the dad telling the daughter that his his male friend kissed him on the lips. Innocuous maybe, but why? You know, it just makes her feel uncomfortable. Uh, all right, so we learned about parallel parenting. We learned about dating after divorce. Um, if there's anything else that you're facing, I invite you to leave it in the comments and I'll talk about it next time. Or if you don't want to be seen, and I understand, and pri your privacy is my top priority, you can always, oh, hey there, you can always email me at victoria at victoriamakui.com. All right, I am going to also leave a link to my website, victoriamakui.com, and I'm going to put a link in the post for my laser session. This is a 15 minute phone call with me where you come to me with one pressing issue. This is not, should I leave my husband? It's not a huge, this is like a, a serious one issue topic that you are, it's keeping you up at night or you have to make a big decision, you, you can't wrangle it. You come to me with this one pressing issue in a laser session we spend 15 minutes focused just on that. And I promise you, when you leave the call, you are going to have had your eyes open to new possibilities of strategies to use, and you will have a plan of action. You will have a, a plan in place to, um, to get over this hurdle that you're facing. So it's $49, and it's, I promise, the best $49 you're going to spend during your divorce. Uh, all right, so that's it for this week, and I look forward to seeing you next time.